Hi, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, I will show you that how to repair your dead mobile charger. So without wasting the time, let me show you that this charger is totally dead. As you can see that there is no display on the USB tester. Comparatively, if I check this charger, it's in working condition. As you can see that it's providing the output. So first of all, let's open it up and see what's wrong with it. So it's now open. Let's pull, pull out the PCB gently. So here's the PCB. First of all, let's check all these gaps. They are physically damaged or not. The all gap seems okay. So on the back side of the PCB, I noticed many dry solders. And if you can see this, the solder mask is damaged from here. You can see that. So it's not making the connection with this string. So I think that's why the charger is not working but first we have to check this fusible resistor set the multimeter on the continuity mode and uh, so you can see that it's giving continuity so this is okay so let me rub this shoulder and connect it back to the board so for this uh, take the small flathead screwdriver and rub gently the solder mask like this so the conductive footprint comes out Now solder the points. So the solder is done. On the other hand, I also notice these two pins damaged. As you can see here it's uplifted from the PCB these are the terminals of this tra chopper transformer let me check them As you can see that it's not making contact with the corresponding path so we have to <clears throat> solder it properly Again, gently rub some sides of the PCB mask like this. Now solder the points properly. soldering is done now the next step we have to resolder all all these dry looking solders one by one apply some flux
now all done let's test the charger for the final time put back in the case as you can see that it's now giving 5 volts output so let's charge something with this let's charge this tiny power bank as you can see that it's now charging and it's giving 1.1 amps at 4.94 volts so the it's now working again so basically it's a type of hidden fault because sometimes we skip the solder mask analysis and the charger seems impossible to repair so hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe my channel stay tuned for the next video